gender differences tend to exist between men and women um, in terms of math ability and performance, and men tend to perform better than women. Um, so those are the exact words. I have them ingrained in my head now. <laughs> I'm saying them so many times. With these lines, Elizabeth Wong greets her test subjects. She's a master's student working in the psychology labs at Ryerson University. And when she says this to the group, there's three test groups in her study, they act like they've heard it before. So some people will actually just nod their heads as I'm saying it, as if they sort of conceded that that's the truth. <laughs> um, so that's why it's really important that we debrief them at the end and let them know that that's not the case. Um, because what research actually shows is that there are actually very few gender differences in math performance. But I guess it's just ingrained in their head that there are gender differences. Wong's research on the effect of gender stereotypes on math performance is part of a long tradition. The classic study for gender is by Spencer, Steele, and Quinn. They basically did the same sort of thing. So they had women participants come in. Um, they either told them that gender differences exist in performance between men and women, or they told them that gender differences don't exist. Um, and basically afterwards, they gave them a math test. What they found was that, again, women who completed, who were told that gender difference exists between men and women, they tended to perform worse on the math test. Um, meanwhile, the participants that were told that gender differences don't exist, there was no difference. After reading that study in her first year psychology course, Wong got kind of nervous. I pride myself on my math abilities, but after learning that, I was thinking like, what if my math performance is affected by, <laughs> by stereotypes? <laughs> but she knew this was something she wanted to know more about. I've always been uh, really interested in social issues related to like race, gender, and discrimination, prejudice. So I think it sparked something in me. So after that first spark, Wong has learned more about why it's important to make women and math more compatible, especially when it comes to jobs in the sciences, technology, engineering, and math. She says there's a really key reason why women need to be involved. So it's about a lot about like innovation, um, creating things, creating new technology. Um, you need women in these decisions <laughs> in terms of designing things. So in terms of designing um, seatbelts, you have to keep like women in mind. Um, you have to keep in mind that women get pregnant and that they have to be made for like it has to be made possible that, so that pregnant women can be in the seatbelts. What better person to design with women in mind than a woman? Wong hopes her research will give more women the confidence to pursue these types of careers. One of the hardest things to change are sort of like those beliefs that you've ingrained in your head so much. Um, but like having this research showing how these, the detrimental effects of stereotypes might sort of lead towards that change and making people want to make that change. Um, so hopefully that's also what I hope this research can do.